What is a magnet for kids? Do you know what these are? If you said magnets, you are right. Magnets are used in many places for many things. And today, we are going to learn more about them. So what exactly is a magnet? Magnets are pieces of metal, usually iron or steel that are able to attract certain kinds of other metals. The force drawing objects to a magnet is called magnetism. And the area surrounding a magnet is called a magnetic field. Pieces of metal like iron or steel can be pulled to a magnet. This is called attraction. When this happens, the metal will stick to the magnet like glue. There are two ends on each magnet. One is called the North Pole, and the other is called the South Pole. Want to know an interesting fact? The North and South Poles of a magnet are attracted to each other and will always be pulled towards each other when they are near the other. But the same poles of two different magnets will push apart or repel the other. Let's test this out. First, let's try putting two North Poles together. Look at that. They are repelling each other. How about two South Poles? They also repel each other. Now, let's try putting a North Pole and a South Pole together. Can you guess what is about to happen? You are right. They are sticking together because they are attracted to each other. Cool, right? There are three different types of magnets. Temporary magnets, permanent magnets, and electromagnets. Temporary magnets become magnetized when a magnetic field is present and lose their magnetism when the field is taken away. Like when you rub a magnet against another piece of metal, like a paperclip or a nail. Permanent magnets are made from materials like iron or nickel that are naturally or chemically magnetized and already have their own magnetic fields, like the magnets you use on your refrigerator. Electromagnets are created by running an electrical current through a coil with a metal core. The energized core creates a magnetic field, and when the current is shut off, the magnetic field disappears. An MRI machine is an example of an electromagnet. Electronics like TVs and computers also use this kind of technology. Magnets are used in many places for many things, not just to hang up your schoolwork on the refrigerator. They are used in speakers, computers, motors, doorbells, telephones, compasses, and tools. They are also used in doors, by recycling centers, hospitals, and lots of other places. And here is one final interesting fact. The Earth's core is made of iron and nickel, so it creates its own magnetic field. Wow, magnets are pretty awesome, right? Now that you know more about magnets, let's test your new knowledge. How many types of magnets are there? Three, temporary, permanent, and electromagnetic. Fill in the blank. The area surrounding a magnet is called a magnetic blank. Magnetic field. True or false? The Earth's core has its own magnetic field. True. What happens when two south poles of a magnet are near each other? They repel or push apart each other. An MRI is an example of a which type of magnet? Electromagnet. Magnificent job, magnet mavens. Whether you are doing a science experiment or
sticking your latest piece of artwork on the fridge. Magnets are all around. At some point, you have probably used a magnet and not even known it. But now that you know more about them, you will be able to spot magnets in even the most random of places. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.